Hello, my name is Kevin. You're watching Lily Nerf Craig. What I want to talk to you today about is your everyday carry weapon and weapons maintenance. I strongly recommend that you go through the gun completely every single year and do a detailed cleaning. And at least go through it every three months, which is every quarter, and inspect it and lube if necessary. I'm a big proponent of taking one gun and using it regularly for your everyday carry and going that route. I also recommend that you go through your safe at least once a year and inspect all of your weapons to make sure that there hasn't been any rust that's built up in your safe, which can happen. Even if you have a de dehumidifier, it can spring a leak. So, I'm going to show you everyday carry right now, which is a standard P226. And we're going to strip it apart and show you some weapons maintenance. Now, you guys will forgive me. I'm on the back end of my truck. I want to be outside. So, it's going to be a lot of noise from the birds. First thing we do is clear the weapon. Clear the weapon, you first remove the magazine. Secondly, you verify that there's no bullets in the chamber. Set them off to the side. Inspect your chamber. If you follow a sick guy, he'll say, look away, come back, inspect again, look away, come back, inspect again. He probably would not do it on camera. I am, however. I'm comfortable with having my magazine sitting beside me while I'm doing the maintenance. Bear with me, they decide they're gonna start taking off from BNA uh, again. They've changed their flight pattern again for some reason. Now they're flying a lot closer to over my house. So let's strip this weapon down. That is as far as you want to go for a basic cleaning, basic inspection. You want to inspect your spring and your guide rod. Make sure there's no damage. Make sure that you do not have any rust. Put that back together. Pay attention to which direction the spring color it goes put it back the same way Let me inspect your barrel now for me inspecting my barrel i'm going to look up and make sure that there's nothing in it no trash if you see lint and stuff like that from where you've carried it you might want to take and just run a bore brush down it or a um, oh, cotton patch to get all that crap out and basically what you want to do is you want to put lubricant anywhere it gets it it gets shiny so i'm going to put lubricant all along through here around through here and down here to the lockup now this is not one that i've shot a lot that's why there's not that much wear on it however this is this is just a standard 226 my everyday carry is usually the 229 but i will go back and forth between the 226 and the 229 depending on circumstance so <clears throat> get down in here and put lubricant right here along through there and around in here the lubricant right through here you can put lubricant inside your slides rails or you can put it on here on your slide rails so any place that's shiny you will put lubricant now i'm using two different types of lubricant i'm using a light oil and i'm using a white lithium grease why do I do that? Because I can't. Doesn't hurt anything to do it. So why not? I put a small amount and just kind of go and get underneath the rails. Spread it across. And then come back here gonna need a little bit more grease doesn't take much I bought like four of these when I bought them and it's probably gonna be more than I'll ever use in my lifetime I'm gonna run a little bit of this white lithium grease right through here get through there across the top there you can run some here Alrighty, and I'm going to use a little bit of white lithium grease down in here. 
kind of pulled it away, forgive me, and right through there. The reason I do this is it stays on a lot better than your standard oil. It also is not going to evaporate like this will. So that's another reason why you want to periodically go through your weapon and do a basic maintenance. Because that's all this is, is a basic maintenance. A little bit of oil here. Or not oil, but uh, grease. Inside there. And there we go. So, now let's get on to the barrel. Now, on my barrel, I'm not going to use the lithium grease. Why you say? Because I don't want that thick grease all over it. I want a light coat of oil. This might actually be a little bit more oil than what I need. Actually, I guarantee it's a lot more oil than what I need. Just get your oil here in the lockups. Now, <clears throat> like I was saying before, if you do carry this regularly, which this gun has been in my safe for some time, I only broke it out this week because I've been carrying my 229 now for a couple of months, I mean my 226 for a couple of months. Uh, that's the only reason why I went back with this because I'm not a big fan of going from gun to gun to gun unless I've shot them. So, let me verify this has a little bit of lubricant on it, your guide rod. And I'm sure I'll go a little bit too much. That's just enough. Just enough to keep it lubricated. This is not rocket science, guys. Not rocket science by a long shot. See how quick and easy that was? Does not take long. Basic maintenance is the best way to make sure that your gun, if you need it, heaven forbid, will go bang. Put it back together. Lock it back. Verify it works. There we go. You see I got a little lubricant back here. A little bit of white lithium grease. Just wipe that down. Now if you were in a really sandy, very uh, dusty environment, I probably would stay only with a light oil and I would not use a white lithium grease only because you run more of a risk of getting that really fine dust and crap inside your action, which can cause you problems. Uh, I've never been to the litter box, but soldiers who have been to the litter box that I've discussed it with have said they ran theirs dry simply because they called it moon dust. Uh, really, really fine sand. So depending on where you live, you might want to adapt your lubrication process. Here where I'm at, it's humid. White lithium grease works perfect for me. Anyhow, I hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did, share it, give it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions or questions, by all means, leave them in the comments. Have a good one.